Okay, it's so wonderful to see everyone. It's such a joy on this Gemini new moon. So I am tapping into a lot of energy flowing right now. Just like a lot, a lot of light, a lot of restructuring energy. And you may be feeling that and you may not be. And that's either way. It's totally okay. Um, during the meditation, I want to work with it. I want to ground it. So either way, if you're not feeling a lot of energy, you'll tap into that energy. If you are, like I feel like a little ungrounded. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it's um, just like super quick moving Mercury, Gemini energy that's really mental focused. So coming into our bodies, grounding into the earth. So what's we'll happened in the cosmos, what's we'll happened to the earth, we'll also meet and connect energetically as a group before we go into the individual meditation. Oh, um, can you guys hear me? Yeah, okay. Remy, it looks like Remy is not able to hear. Um, I'm not sure why, Remy. Maybe it's the volume or check out your Zoom settings. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so yes, so we'll ground, we'll connect to Cosmos, and we'll set some intentions because it's such a great thing to do on the new moon. We'll tap into the vibration of how we want to feel during this moon cycle. So let us settle in. Just notice your breath for a moment before we take three deep breaths. Just like let's come into an awareness of the in breath and the out breath. And let's take three deep breaths at any pace that's comfortable for you. Let's begin now to breathe consciously. So notice when you breathe in, notice when you breathe out. Just that for a moment. And then when you place your attention on the in-breath and out-breath, may actually make you more aware of the thoughts that are running through your head and that is not a bad thing. Awareness is not a bad thing. So you can just acknowledge those thoughts and not push them away or fight them. And also notice as you breathe in and notice as you breathe out. And then as you do that, it's just, it, you begin to become more mindful in general. So you notice, you might notice tension in your body. You might notice pain or other sensations in your body. So just let all of that be there. Say yes to it, acknowledge it, and continue to notice as you breathe in and as you breathe out. To create a healthy circuit of energy, it's helpful to touch your tongue lightly to the roof of your mouth in a comfortable way, just in a natural way. And you may like to notice 
that as you breathe in, you feel energy moving down the front of your body to your tailbone. And as you breathe out, you notice energy moving up your spine to the crown of your head. So circular, just moving the energy along with the breathing. As you notice your breath, you might notice that your breathing is shallow or tense. And if so, you can say yes to that. Let that be exactly perfect. And notice as you, be, as you continue to breathe consciously, those conscious breaths, Soften the tension, deepen the breathing naturally. Like water melting ice, flowing water melting ice. And I'd like for you to become conscious of your gravity anchoring you into the earth, into your chair, so, so perfectly. And that alive connection between your body, your energy field, and the earth. You can breathe into that, into the awareness of that space where your body touches the earth. Breathe down into it and breathe out and then up your spine and out the crown of your head. And notice how that awareness of the gravity in itself can be the perfect grounding, the perfect consciousness for grounding. Just let that be a, just feel your way into groundedness through that feeling of gravity holding your body into the earth, that pressure. And I'm being shown now that we can also breathe down the front of our body, actually down all the way, down our grounding core, down into the core of the earth, that sphere of golden white light and energy. And then as we breathe out, we can breathe up that grounding cord up our to our tailbone, through our spine, into the crown of our head. So you can extend the circular breathing so it connects us to the core of the earth. If you'd like to try that. Uh, we'll come back to the conscious breathing in a moment. And for now, let us meet in our group, come together in a meadow. So let's just for a moment envision that we're standing barefoot on grass in a circle, holding hands, feeling that warm and cool grass under our bare feet. And 
feeling the breeze on our skin, hearing wind in the trees, hearing a stream in the distance. And as we hold hands in our circle, let's send love to everyone in the group. Send acknowledgement of our true divine selves. The recognition that we are one with each other and with all of creation. And let's receive that to receive that acknowledgement of your true divine self, your highest and truest self, your eternal self. Great goddess, great God, great holy mystery, we call on you. Bless us on this Gemini new moon. Fill us with light. Fill us with healing. Fill us with joy. Clear away old patterns and programs, old stuck energy and limiting beliefs. Anything that doesn't resonate any longer with the truth of who we are. Thank you. And let's feel that light and energy descend upon our circle and fill our entire bodies and auras, our energetic selves, that cleansing, empowering, restructuring, balancing, harmonizing, energizing, relaxing, light. And as we continue to hold hands in this interdimensional space, let's send this light now in a clockwise circle around our sacred circle. Okay, so now let's go into our own individual experiences of this meditation. And let's come back to return to the mindful breathing. So notice as you breathe in, notice as you breathe out. Notice how the breath moves energy around your body. It relaxes you. And notice that within the breath, there are codes of light and wisdom and healing. There's an aliveness to the breath itself. And you're breathing it into your body to your entire being on all levels. It's a living cleanse and empowerment, an infusion of wisdom, an infusion of reminding you who you really are. your true divine being who needs not apologize for your uniqueness. For taking up space in the world. 
The in-breath is reminding you, the out-breath you can release. Anything that is out of alignment with this knowing. It's safe. It's just, they're just stories. They're not true. Anything, any stories about being unworthy or not right, not deserving, not lovable, it's okay. They're just stories. You can just let them go. You can just breathe them out. As you continue to notice the in-breath and the out-breath and go deeper into the relaxation of noticing, you might notice, you might even go deeper and notice tension somewhere else in your body. Like, oh, maybe there's extra tension in your shoulders you didn't notice before, or in your knees, or in your belly, or in your eyes, or in your jaw. You can breathe into that, too. Create space there, fill it with light, and then breathe out the tension. And release any constricting around any physical or emotional pain or stress. Just acknowledge it, breathe into it, and consciously let it unravel. You don't have to contain it and breathe into it and notice how it shifts and changes and eventually dissolves. So let's remember now that breathing down, all the way down. As you inhale, you breathe from the crown of your head all the way to the core of the earth. So this is on a pillar of light. So if your body is light and your aura is light, and there's an anchor or a pillar or a trunk of light that connects your body from your tailbone to the core of the earth. So you breathe down the front of your body all the way down to the glowing core, the golden white light at the core of the earth. And as you breathe out, you breathe that light up up the trunk or the pillar, up your tailbone, and out the crown of your head. Breathe in, breathe down the front of your body to the earth, the core of the earth, breathe out, breathe up your spine and out the crown of your head. So as you fill yourself even more with this earth light, you can feel it magnetizing you into the earth and energizing you and also neutralizing any frenetic energy in your field, in your mind. And now we can also connect our awareness from the crown of our heads up, straight up out of the Earth's atmosphere into the cosmos. So you can envision a trunk or a pillar of light moving from the crown of your head up, up, up out of the Earth's atmosphere, connecting. You can imagine like branches or a lotus flower opening up into infinite light, which is you can imagine as diamond white liquid light. And as you breathe in, you can imagine breathing light down from infinity, all the way from infinity down 
that pillar down into your head, down the front of your body, all the way down to the earth, to the core of the earth. And as you breathe out, you can breathe up from the core of the earth to the cosmos. So let's practice that circular breathing from infinity as you breathe in to the core of the earth and then from the core of the earth to infinity as you breathe out. And do your best to feel that circular motion, that energetic dynamic, to sense it, to envision it, whatever works for you, but know that it will become more natural with time when a new visualization, the first few times we do it, it's, we're getting the hang of it. So just do your best. And let's bring our awareness now to just our aura. So your body in the sphere of light that cocoons your body, that's all your being. So now this, well, you're still nourished by the earth and the cosmos. You can just become aware of all this earth light and all this cosmic light in your aura as you continue to breathe consciously and compassionately. So compassionately sending awareness to any tension or pain or fear or grief or worry. Or love, you can send awareness to positive feelings as well to excitement, joy, love, anticipation, confidence, whatever is present. And we call on divine light to clear and vacuum away any remaining stuck or challenging energies, any fear, any old patterns or programs. So just breathe and relax and allow divine light to do one more sweep. The more relaxed we become, the easier it becomes to release. And feeling once more that we're just bathed in this golden white earth and cosmic light that is repairing and restructuring, writing us a new, strong, loving, auspicious code.
So now I'd like for you to get in touch with your most joyful and radiant self. So just set the intention to connect with this aspect of you energetically, just right now. You know, there's no pressure to be this right away. Just like, what is that? What is that? Kind of get curious about like, what is my most joyful and radiant self? What is that vibration? And how does that feel when I embody that? So you can pose a hypothetical. What if I felt like that? What if I was vibrating at that frequency of my most joyful, radiant, vivacious self? So inhabit that aspect of you and vibrate at the frequency of that aspect of you. Just be willing to set that intention to be in that aspect. And let's radiate that frequency of your most joyful and radiant self, of our most joyful and radiant selves. Let's radiate that frequency out in all directions to the earth, to the galaxy, to the cosmos. And what we send out comes back to us, so feel it boomeranging, boomeranging back to you, filling your aura and amplifying that feeling, that vibration. Just what if, no pressure, just what if. Like if you're putting on a Halloween costume and you're like, what if I was this character? Well, how would that feel? It's a kind of a, just a back door into that. If you're having trouble getting into that sense. So amplifying that vibration, feeling it coming back to you. And let's feel now our prosperity, this most joyful and radiant self basking in a feeling of prosperity. And setting any clear intentions now along with this feeling related to prosperity, to wealth or health or happiness, joy, luxury, well-being and feeling grateful for these qualities already being present in your life experience as if they are already present and in the ways they are already present. And let's feel a sense of relationship harmony, feeling at peace, in harmonious relationship with all the people in our lives. And this may or may not involve actually being present with them. I'm not saying make friends with everybody. <laughs> Might involve a boundary. It's just the sense that you feel safe in your relationships. You feel loved. You feel loving. You feel worthy. You feel heard and seen and respected. And safe. And you feel safe about setting boundaries. And so you can set any specific intentions now related to relationships, feel as if your intention is already true and feel grateful for that. Um, 
any intentions relating to relaxation and healing so you can sense, feel, vibrate at the frequency of how relaxed, how healthy you'd like to feel, feel that feeling now, broadcast it, feel grateful for it. And set any other specific intentions related to relaxation or healing or anything else at all by feeling as if it's already true and then feeling grateful for it. And the divine consciousness reminds you that you deserve to thrive. You deserve to bask in your manifested intentions. The divine consciousness reminds us that that's what divine consciousness wants for all of us. So just for a moment now, let's let all the intentions go. And once again, just be, just be here with the in-breath and the out-breath. We give thanks to the great goddess. We give thanks to the great God. We give thanks to the great holy mystery. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be, and so it is. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me for this meditation. It's really such a joy. It feels so great to get to spend this time with you. So thanks for being here. And I hope you have a really relaxing, magical weekend.